Are you looking for ways to get started writing your research paper? Creating an outline can do just that. Creating an outline can help you to organize all the research that you've done in addition to your own notes and perspectives. My name is Heather Zink and I'm an instructor for the School of Allied Health for Rasmussen College Online. I see students struggle every quarter with this writing process, so I've worked with Beth Marie Gooding, our online librarian, to create this tutorial in how the steps involved in creating an outline using Microsoft Word and then the key components of the outline. Let's get started. You might be thinking, why should I create an outline? It takes too much time. I should just start writing the paper. And while it does take some time to develop your outline, the benefits of creating the outline far outweigh the extra time it takes to prepare it. The outline will help you in the actual process of writing the paper because you're able to organize your ideas in a logical pattern to institute flow within the paper. The outline will allow you to see how your ideas relate to one another and group them in a logical manner. The construction of the ordered overview provide a framework for the paper as well. So how do I get started? Brainstorm. Write down every idea that comes into your head. Even if it doesn't relate to the paper specifically, just put your pen to paper or fingers to the keys and get started getting that information out of your brain and into a printed format. You don't need to write complete sentences, just thoughts or specific words. That way you can start to organize your thoughts. You'll be surprised at how quickly the ideas come out. This process may seem a bit disconnected or, or unorganized, but after you've finished listing all the ideas in your paper, you can begin to organize them and group the related items together. This will allow you to determine the main focus of your paper and develop a clear audience and purpose for writing. Ideally, a thesis statement would evolve at this point. Once you've determined the purpose of your paper, creating a focused thesis statement will provide a framework for the outline. You can then start to order your ideas by arranging them in subsections from general to specific or from concrete to abstract. This order leads to the creation of main headings and subheadings within the outline. Now that you have your ideas, how do you create a well-formatted outline? The most common type of outline is an alphanumeric outline. It's formatted using Roman numerals, followed by capitalized letters, Arabic numerals, and finally lowercase letters. Each main heading usually denotes a new paragraph. Let's walk through the steps of using Microsoft Word 2007 to create a sample outline. First, you need to ensure that Times New Roman font is selected and size 12 font is also selected. This is consistent with APA standards. Next, we're going to include the title of your paper at the top of the outline, Centered Format. Go down two spaces and change the alignment to the left-hand margin and go up here and select a multi-level list. Use the drop-down arrow and come down here and select the bottom one with the Roman numeral 1, letter A, and then the number 1 in your first three headings. You'll see the first Roman numeral pop up. You can then type in your main idea for the first paragraph and hit the enter button and up will come the second Roman numeral for your next main idea or you can click the tab and enter your supporting idea or research and then you'll see each successive number or letter uh, come up after that. If you click the tab button it will go into the next level of the heading. If you click the enter button it will go back. So using Microsoft Word you're able to create an organized outline using the multi-level list feature and it will be similar to what you're seeing in this sample outline on the screen. To create an easy to follow, well formatted outline, you should follow these four suggestions as you begin to write. Each addresses how subjects are grouped or how words are put together to form phrases and serves to provide consistency throughout the outline. The first component is known as parallelism. Each heading and subheading should preserve a parallel structure. If the first heading is a verb, the second heading should also be a verb. Like in this example, choose and prepare are both verbs. The present tense of the verb is usually used and is the preferred form for the outline. The outline should also demonstrate a coordination of ideas. All the information contained in Heading 1 should have the same significance as the information contained in Heading 2. The same goes for the subheadings, which should be less significant than the headings. And as with this example, campus and website visits are equally significant. 
they are part of the main tasks you would need to do. Finding statistics and classes found on college websites are parts of the process involved in carrying out the main heading topics. Subordination should also be present with the information in the headings being more general, while the information in the subheadings should be more specific. Again, referring to our example here, a favorite teacher and grandparent are specific examples of the generalized category of the influential people within your life. And finally, each heading should be divided into two or more parts to thoroughly discuss the heading. In the example shown, the heading Compile Resume is divided into three parts. Technically, there are no limit to the number of subdivisions for your headings. However, if you seem to have a lot, it may be useful to see if some of the parts can be combined. Hopefully this tutorial has provided you with some information you were looking for with regards to how to create an outline for your research paper or writing assignment. Should you have additional questions as you're working through this process, please don't hesitate to contact your instructor or Rasmussen Online Librarian, Beth Marie Gooding. Her contact information is listed on the screen and she's available through a variety of online modalities, so choose the mode of communication that works best for you. Thanks for watching. Happy writing!